Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's Luck now on second down. Escaping the pressure right. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. Third and nine here. They'll fake it. Now lock. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked off by Paul Kraus. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously, didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Now they send a man in motion right. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. A loss of two there. Second down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And that will move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block... And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. So a big chance goes by the wayside there. A tough break on third and goal. He has a general rule. You know you're usually not going to win games with field goals. But in this case, they had three points in their pocket. I get what he was trying to do. That's a big swing of momentum right there. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. They were already backed up. Now they're backed up further. I think they were being so careful to make sure all assignments were covered that they ended up running themselves out of time. Now luck. Looking deep for Hayward Bay. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Now inside the 25. Touchdown, Cowboys. Darius Hayward Bay, 97 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Now the try here for the extra point.
And it's good to make it 14 0. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and ten. Vic now. Over the middle complete. That's Brooks. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. On second down now. It's Brooks. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And Vic's throw there incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Vic goes play action. The connection made. It's Graham. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. On play action, Vic. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Now a give right side. It's Brooks. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. The Cowboys on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Marcus Peters up to make the tackle. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy.